Hello on this beautiful Saturday. Sun's out. Been uh, a while since I've been out here to the base of the mountain. We've had like bad weather. And it's been a pretty grueling week at uh, Sparks Motors. We went all out on a big uh, search and recovery in California, which you can see on his channel. And there's a lot I have to say about that, which I will tell later. But uh, wanted to get out and relax today and see what I could do here at the mountain because I knew that there was a lot of stuff down here. It still looks like there's no way I'm going to make it up to the fortress today. And I uh, was going to try to bring some equipment in, some parts. And uh, when I was down at the shop, uh, our little shop truck was uh, somebody had taken. But while I was down there, uh, Dave Sparks was there. And I said, well, I just need to haul just some old military seats and some old parts and everything out here. But uh, I figured that uh, my car wasn't going to make it. And I was looking for the shop truck. And he said, ah, somebody else is using it. But then he went and told me to borrow his truck. And so I'm going, really? <laughs> Your truck is so nice, and uh, so anyway, you let me use our 550, and as you can see, I have tried to get up here, and uh, I'm here at the base, but I can't even get to my little mini shop down here. The uh, snow is a little bit too thick and heavy. I might try in a little bit and have mud on one side so i might try to see if i can go a little bit farther but it looks like i'm gonna have to just unload some of the metal parts down here so ah, i really really can't wait for things to dry out and i can get working out here probably a lot of my viewers are thinking the same thing too so but uh with uh, as much snow and as wet as it's been, uh, looks like our uh, spring's going to be a little later than normal. You know, I'm going to see where I can uh, unload some of this stuff and uh, see if maybe I can move the truck up a little bit farther. Well, I started to do okay. I drove up a little bit more with Dave's truck, but something just suddenly happened. The truck slid sideways. So I've got this giant rock right here, which I can probably get out, have to turn my wheels that way and head in this direction. However, if you look, I have mud here. And the reason apparently I said, oh, cause I have ice here. So what this means, I got a lot of shoveling because I got to get all this down here to dirt. That way I can back up a little bit with my wheels cranked. Plus I'm going to have to clear out for the back tires because the back, it's just the back side just slid just right across. So I have to be really careful. I'm going to have to turn my wheels, get that way. And then I'm going to have to head out just this way to get around this. And just out enough that I can then back up because I don't think I better go any farther. It would be really nice to go farther where I could turn around, but this whole area, there's no turnaround. So I have to back, back down. So, and now I get to do a rescue on myself. better clean that little bit of snow off well I've got a little farther but I gotta just uh, gotta be very careful and clear my path and get this uh, truck back straight 
means every place the wheels touch I'm gonna have to clear I think I can get it out it's hard because even the even the back end still likes to slide a little bit so I'm gonna have to clean all this out and see if I can get the front end up here and get me away from that rock uh, so I didn't expect to suddenly just slide sideways like that I was just taking it really easy here and there's just a little bit of a slope right here and an ice patch so more digging I'm almost out, and I would have been, but it just slipped another inch or two. So I have to move this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find me a high lift jack. So I can get past this, this is what's causing it. I have wood I can put under stuff, and but this thing, it's just in the way. All right. Whew, well. Even if I move that, I'm still look pretty low down here. So what I'm going to do is an old school technique I've done before. Takes a little bit of time. Basically, I'm going to use the high lift jack. Lift up left of center. Right about there with the jack. At an angle. And I'm doing something that they specifically say not to do with the jacks. Make it unstable. But my whole point is I want it to be unstable. I want to lift it up enough. That when I get up to a certain point, the truck will fall to the left. And I will keep doing that and doing that and doing that until I bring the back end back up on the road. Uh, that should get me away from the rock and everything like that. The hardest thing, I've done this with uh, my old Dodge pickups and Ram chargers, no issues. This is a lot heavier. So I'm going to see just exactly how well this is going to work.
Well, the truck bed is way too heavy and the jack is jamming. So right now the jack is on an unstable position. So I'm gonna have to just whack it from a distance and see about getting something else. I'll try to probably have to bring that forklift, but I don't know if the forklift is gonna slide around up here. So we'll find out here in a second. I'm down here. Here's the forklift. No other uh, recourse but to try starting it up. And uh, see if you remember right. That. Okay, it's gonna need some ether. Let me start. It will be the ether here. Take these extra forks off. Can't hold this. Can't hold that while I lift them out. I found that the transmission on this is really weak. I just barely made it up the hill. I would actually have to uh, let it stop, let it cool, and then come forward. But we're now close enough. I think I can grab the forks, lift up, and move it across. So let me move the shovel out of the way. hooked and strapped now I'm gonna do my crab steer sideways if I can get this thing up oh. Imagine this thing being that heavy. Need a chain. As I'm uh, trying to find a chain, it's taking me forever because I can't seem to find a chain. There's there's one that it was trapped underneath a piece of cargo, but uh, finally found a chain. But then uh, my friend Les has arrived. He's going to help me out. And he's sort of walking up here through all this mess. So what do you think of the road? Show sure ain't no road. <laughs> you should have put it on something other than sandals. Oh. I just walk on the snow. Uh, we might be out here pretty quick now since I got the uh, forklift up here. But... Uh, uh it's uh still been a pain in the butt this uh truck is way heavier than i uh imagined 
Okay. Okay, now we're up off the ground and we're going to go reverse. Whoa! Hey Les! Can you get in the truck and keep this keep it steering straight? Start it up and uh, just make sure the wheels up on the road. That's good. Okay. The other way. All the way as much as you can. I think we're up now we'll try to just slowly back up if it slides again we can hook it up again but uh, I don't know we'll take a look and see where it's at let me uh I gotta come forward a little well here I got less to save the day uh, I might have been able to do it myself but with him having uh, steering that thing and uh, uh, guiding it when I'm pulling it up there, it really worked out. So thanks, Les. Rock on. Yeah, so gotta move his vehicle that's down below and get all the equipment down. Well, as I'm talking to Les here, we're just looking at this uh, nightmare, which uh, uh, would you consider it a road? But Les says, no, it sure ain't no road. It's more like a small river. And any time you help a buddy get unstuck, <laughs> wear shoes. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, hey, that's just like Hunter. Man, Hunter's wearing <laughs> those things all the time. So, okay, well, the truck is still up there. We got it a place where I think I can back it down here freely. So when I get up there, okay, he's going to pull me out in case I sink into the abyss. So get up here well all that grief and everything just to bring this box up here for taking to the mountain uh, all the heavy items I dropped off lower but this has got to be taken to the top I just stick it on the bag for now a queue of things to bring to the top there it's in the queue but the ATV won't be heading up there anytime soon because of the snow. So, now we get to check and we can back down without any more difficulties. Since I don't want to have any copyright infringements, I'll do my own uh, music. Da -da 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 da 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 And we're not sliding. Just keep going. Da, 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 da. Uh, the front sliding a little bit. But, okay. All right. 
we're out of the worst area now it's just a downhill uh, and i'll be out i got all the equipment we're down at the bottom thanks to Les helping out thanks to the uh, rt6000 for bob and uh it takes a day that was going to be just something simple of uh, bringing some stuff up into a full like uh, recovery not as much as uh, you see on uh, our other channels but <laughs> this is what we get when we try to work in the snow and the mud when we should be home relaxing right les no nope, can't sit home on the couch <laughs> <laughs> he's actually you, right if you get stuck you need one of those <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that worked out it's a little weak on the transmission but it did the job. So <coughs> probably the next thing I'm gonna have to do is uh, wash Dave's truck for him. <laughs> so it looks like uh, that's my project for the rest of the day. So that's all for, for Han today. Hans did it. <laughs> oh, I yeah. saw him. Okay, we'll, we'll blame him. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be all for this video. I was gonna do some more stuff on the wind turbines, but uh, we got stuck in the mud. We had like a huge recovery this last week, so I'm gonna call it for today. Maybe I can put something together tomorrow. So thanks for watching and please subscribe and like and uh, click on the notifications. Thank you, you're a wonderful audience. It's clean.